I am vengeance. Hot Toys' is The Batman 1-6 scale figure has been revealed. My name is Costa and this is Pop Culture Living Room. Teased several weeks ago, Hot Toys has dropped some DC goodness on our plate and this Batman comes in three delicious flavors. Standard, deluxe, and with bat signal. Ooh la la. You can get your very own The Batman from Sideshow Collectibles. Link is in the description. Throughout the video, you will see pics of the actual prototype Type in Hong Kong. I'd like to thank Bao Figure Photography for allowing me to use their amazing pics of the Batman prototype. I put a link in the description to their Instagram page, so please go check them out and follow. My first impressions of this figure was, holy sh I need that. I swear, I literally said that. What, you don't believe me? Go ask my wife. It's been a long time since a Batman movie got me this excited. Like, 30 years. Who would have thought that it would be a Batman played by none other than Cedric Diggory himself? Robert Pattinson? No one. I want to start with what I would say is one of the best head sculpts Hot Toys has ever made. The unmasked Pattinson Bruce Wayne head. It is a beautiful work of art and I would like to give the sculptor and painter high praise. Bravo. Bravo. The head sculpt looks exactly like Robert Pattinson and it exquisitely captures the inner conflict and pain of emo Bruce Wayne. And I mean emo in the best and most complimentary way possible. He's not oh Okay. When I stare at this sculpt, it's hard for me to look away from his hypnotic gaze. It feels like he's piercing my soul. Oh, Edward. Oh. The paint apps, including the black around the eyes and the skin texture, look so realistic. And his hair is perfectly styled like Bruce Wayne in the movie. I really hope the production version of the head sculpt looks this good. It seems recently there have been some misses when it comes to Hot Toys head sculpts, but I'm optimistic as there have been way more hits. Next, we have the head sculpt with the cowl. I love this look. A lot of people weren't happy with the look of the cowl or the bat suit for that matter when it was first introduced. I was hooked day one. This is coming from someone who has Keaton and West as his number one and number two Batmans respectively. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed Bale and Affleck each bringing their own take. They were great, but I didn't have that excitement factor with them that I do with this new Batman. Let me know who your favorite Batman is in the comments below. The details the detail on the cowl is incredible. It has kind of a molded leather texture shell look to it. You can see the seams and the stitching. It's even got battle damage with dents and scratches. One thing that Hot Toys excels with is the small details, and this is no exception. Hot Toys has added their rolling eye system to the cowl sculpt, so you can move his eyes to look in any direction or even make him cross-eyed. Normally, the rolling eye system is reserved for the DX figure but this is the second movie masterpiece that I know of to get it, Ahsoka of the Clone Wars being the other. I'm guessing that the rolling eye system is going to be something that every figure in the future will probably get. The cowl sculpt also features three interchangeable lower face plates, increasing the possibilities of accurate facial expressions while posing your figure. Now that's a plus. I'm really digging the suit. Hot Toys did a great job capturing the look. The suit is a mixture of fabric and armor and fabric armor. I love that the bat symbol on his chest is a detachable batarang slash utility knife. And I'm happy Hot Toys decided to make it functional on this figure. Now, he wouldn't be called the Cape Crusader if he didn't wear a cape. Obviously, on one side, the cape looks like it's made out of pleather and it has a shininess to it. And on the other side, it looks fabricy. Is that a word? It is now. This cape comes completely wired so you can do some of those brooding over Gotham at the top of a skyscraper with the wind blowing his cape poses. Sexy. The Batman comes with a pair of gauntlets, which themselves have interchangeable armor to give quote unquote normal look and a firing mode look, which increases the figure's posability. And what is Batman without his utility belt? Just a dude in a bat costume. It's true. The utility belt has a tactical look to it, a far cry from the Batman 66 utility belt. I wonder if he has shark repellent in there. He also has a pistol holster on his thigh. To finish off the suit, 
He comes with a pair of sweet black combat boots. Looking at the photos, it looks like they will be a split boot for better ankle mobility and increased posability. Next, we come to the accessories. The Batman gets nine pieces of interchangeable hands. It's hard to identify which are which in the picks, so this is going to be a total guess for some of these. A pair of fists, a pair of relaxed hands, a pair of weapon holding hands, a pair of accessory holding hands, and a left gesture hand. Whatever that is. I can't even tell what the gesture is from the pictures. As for weapons, he has two batarangs, including the one on his chest and a grappling hook and a wired grappling hook. He also comes with four utility tools, which from the pics all look like different versions of a baton. Though after watching the movie, no spoilers, I believe one of them is a flare. He also comes with a pair of handcuffs and a card and envelope from the Riddler. How sweet. Finally, he has a regular stand with movie logo, character nameplate, and a graphic card that you can put on top of the stand and cover the logo so it could look like you know, like a floor. But wait, there's more. If you upgrade now to the deluxe version, you get everything that comes with the standard version, plus an additional weapon, a sticky bomb gun with one bullet, a wingsuit, which kinda looks like a parachute pant romper, two themed dioramas, including a staircase with railing and LED light up function, which is powered by USB, and iconic building decor, so you can really do that brooding over Gotham on top of a skyscraper with the wind blowing his cape pose. Yes! These two pieces interact with the normal display base to give three different options for the diorama. I love that Hot Toys is doing more diorama bases and the details on these look amazing. I also love how Hot Toys has given multiple options for these dioramas. Along with the diorama bases, you also get a character backdrop which you will probably not take out of the box. And if you say you do, liar. But wait, there's more. If you upgrade to the with bat signal, you not only get everything that's included in the standard edition and everything that's included in the deluxe edition you also get the new bat signal and it looks bad ass i love how it mimics the batman's new suit and symbol but i guess that's what all the bat signals do hmm. and after watching the movie yes it is scaled properly so many choices and so many decisions to make i think i'm definitely going for the whole shebang i feel it's better to get everything while it's retail now instead of waiting and possibly paying higher prices later because you never know if you're gonna want the bat signal in the future you don't know if you're gonna want that extra gun if you don't buy it now you're not sure you're gonna not want it in the future just get it now and work Worst comes to worst, just sell the pieces that you don't want. All in all, I'm pretty excited about this figure and all he comes with. Hot Toys hit this one clean out of the park. Oh no, not a cliche. Oh please God, forgive me, not a cliche. <laughs> The Batman is slated for release between April and September of 2023. That's a pretty big window. It's like six months. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, need to upgrade your display game, but don't want to spend a bunch of cash? In this video right here, I show you how to do just that. So what are you waiting for? Go check it out! This is Pop Culture Living Room. Peace!